weird start mm -hmm. to the day. started I've got light set up up there but um one of the bulbs went out yeah, four bulbs up there and the bulbs went out a while back and say like, eh, it's still good enough I can deal with it today the second bulb went out so now the two ones facing me are out I had to move that light around so you could actually see me <laughs> oh joy got the controller and just not a bad day, it's just weird. Alright, so here we are. We um left off um planning an assault on Monokuma. Let's hope. Um with everybody. We got Electro Hammer saved up to go fight him. Um, and go save uh, Kaito from Kokichi. But then we get in here and somehow the uh, press is uh, crushing somebody. But we don't even know who yet. All we know is it's probably Kaito because of the coat. But we don't know. Now people don't trust us and a lot about hope and despair and the end of the world and all that jazz. So let's get into it. There's an exosol right in the middle of the hangar. <coughs> <coughs> the hatch is open as well. The cockpit is exposed. So this is how it looks on the inside, huh? It's small, but big enough for one person. Oh, Monokuma. Huh? The hatch is open? How strange. Only the Monocubs can turn off the electric lock that op and open the hatch. <coughs> <coughs> Only the Monocubs can open the hatch? Normally, the Monocubs are the only ones who can pilot the Exosols. Normally, being the key word. But because of that Electro Hammer thing, the electronic lock is all screwed up. Have you mentioned this to anyone else? Nope, no one's asked me about it either. And even if I had been asked, it would have been an irrelevant narration to you anyway. An electronic lock on the hatch that only the monocubs can disable. Which must be why only the monocubs can control the exosols. But, if you could disable the lock, hmm. you could control the exosol. Hatch's electronic lock has been added to the truth bullet section of your monopad. The red exosol is completely still. Hey, Shuichi. Shuichi, it's dangerous there. If you go near that thing, you might get torn apart. No. Oh, it shouldn't move anymore. Not without the monocobes or Kokichi. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's just a pile of scrap then. Hey! Jeez, don't scare me like that. My magic. I should just tear this hunk of junk apart with my magic. Oh. Uh, but, I suppose that if Kukichi was alive, he could move it at any time by remote. Uh, why did you say so sooner? That is, if Kokichi's alive. That, <coughs> for that remote control Kokichi has for the Exosols. What is it exactly? Does he have that because he's a mastermind? <coughs> it's a panel that controls the alarm system and electric barrier. I don't see any reason to turn them back on, though. What is this? Blood stain? There's a faint trail of blood leading to the press. A swipe pattern, as if dragged. And it looks as if it's coming from the bathroom. Hmm. This blood stain suggests something was dragged from the bathroom to the press. Swipe pattern bloodstain has been added to the truth bullet section of your monopad. Hmm. 
There's a sleeve sticking out of the press. It's definitely Kaito's coat sleeve. In that case, the victim must be... I don't want to do it, but I have to raise the press to inspect the body. The hydraulic press is down and there's blood in the area. This hydraulic press is controlled by these buttons. If we use this to lift up the hydraulic press, we should be able to check the body. I don't really want to do that though. These controls move the hydraulic press, they can go up, down, and stop. I should be able to use the up button to raise, and press the, raise the press and check the body. I don't want to see a crushed body no matter who it is, but I have to do it. Right. I have to know. I made up my mind, took a breath, and pressed the button. Huh? It's not moving? I pressed the button a few more times, but the press still wouldn't move. Why? Strange. It moved when I pressed it last time. After looking around the press, I found... The power cord is cut. I see. There's no power. So the hydraulic press won't move. This can't be a coincidence. The power cord was cut on purpose. And this must be the work of the culprit. Hydraulic press has been added to the truth bullet section of your monopad. In that case, we won't be able to check the body. I'm honestly a little relieved, but I shouldn't say that out loud. Hmm. I should take another look at the controls. There must be some clue here. In addition to the control buttons, there's an emergency stop button. The press would have been stopped instantly if you used this. Well, well if the culprit were planning this murder, they'd have no use for it. What concerns me more is the safety function. That's right, this hydraulic press should have a safety function. If the infrared sensor detects a living thing, the press stops automatically. Well, it didn't stop when Kipo tried before. If the sensor detected a person, the safety should have stopped the press automatically. Stop automatically, huh? Safety function has been added to the truth bullet section of your monopad. This is one of the important ones. The hydraulic press uses the infrared sensor. For safety reasons, this device will come to a halt when the sensor detects a living organism. Okay, so, my bet is Kaito died and then got put in the press and then got crushed. This looks like a car wash. I imagine it's for cleaning the excess holes. Doesn't look like it's been used in a while. I don't see any clues. The Monokuma file this time barely has any information in it at all. Uh, okay. Yeah, it won't be of much use to us. Jeez. It's so useless. He probably shouldn't have even gone out of his way to give it to us. It's fine, it's fine. The mascot's appearance at a murder scene brings a sense of relief and peace to mind. Huh, he popped out. Jeez. What an attention hog. Hmm. Of course I want attention. I'm the mascot for crying out loud. And yet, I've appeared fewer times than that plain Jane Samugi over there. It'd be false advertising if I didn't appear as often as I can, you know? Now you just leave. The advertising? What advertising? No. Ignore it. Let's just focus on the investigation. Yeah. Yeah. What? What? I don't want to talk to you right now, okay? The way you are now, you want to start accusing people because you can't believe Kaito's death. No. No, let's not. I don't want to hear your excuses or anything else. Just don't talk to me. You keep bugging me. I'll give you Afro hair with my magic. She's softly stubborn. Is she that suspicious of everything now? Or is there a reason she doesn't want to talk to anyone? Hmm. 
Looks like a machine used to paint exocells. It smells kind of like paint thinner. Probably, it looks the same as before. Probably not related to the case. It could potentially uh, paint something. It's not actually blood. Uh, um, traces of blood. Sleeve, the breast. Dog presses down and there's blood in the area. If you use this to lift the high dog press, you should be able to check the body. But the power cord has been cut, the press won't move. In that case, we won't be able to check the body. Hmm. This is the bathroom. Now that I think about it. No, I'm locked up in this bathroom. The Kokichi's just outside that door. This is the place where Kaito was imprisoned. Kaito might have left some kind of clue here. No, uh, no, he didn't leave anything. He might not be dead. Anyway, I should investigate inside. Hmm. Traces of blood. A blood stain, a puddle of blood in the center of the room, and a swipe pattern from there to the door. Hmm. What could this mean? Blood stain in the bathroom is mad to the truth boat section of your monopad. There are arrows on the floor of the bathroom, three in total, and blood on all of them. Uh, um. What is this? What happened here? Three arrows and add to the truth boat section of your monopad. The crossbow. This is. Really? Did I do that? A crossbow? This is. One of the crossbows from Maki's lab. Why is this here? Crossbows can add to the truth boat section of your monopad. There's a small bottle in the corner of the bathroom. It's empty. If I remember correctly. I feel like I've seen this before. The label has blood all over it. I can't read it completely. I can see the word poison. Could it be? And if it is poison, this model hmm. bottle must be taken from my lab. I don't know who brought this here, but it definitely has something to do with this case. Small empty bottles been added to the truth boat section of your monopad. Ooh, good nothing. Oh, this case. Oh, what's in that black case over there? As if backing away from the conversation, Kaito headed to the far shelf. What's in it? Is it some kind of weapon? This is a case from before, right? Large black case has been added to the truth boat section of your monopad. Small window for ventilation. This is the same window from before. It's a small window and it doesn't open all the way. No one would be able to fit through here. Well. Hmm, I suppose if someone could fit through, Kaito would have escaped by now. Perhaps it's too small for a person, but an object could fit through. The bathroom window has been added to the truth boat section of your monopad. Hmm. Alright, I've finished investigating the bathroom. There were more clues than I thought there'd be, and one that's particularly concerning. Why is the crossbow from Maki's lab in here? And the three bloody arrows. These arrows are definitely for the crossbow, but why are three bloodied? And that bottle of poison. 
What could that have been used for? <clears throat> There's still so much I don't know. This case looks like it's going to be tricky. That'd be everything, I think. Hmm. It's smooth. It's next door, right in the middle of the hangar. Hatch is open as well. The cockpit is exposed. This is how big on the inside, huh? It's small, but big enough for one person. But only the monocubs can disable the hatch's electronic lock, so only they can control the exosols. But on the other hand, if you could disable the lock, you could control the exosol. Still things to investigate. What? be able to press the button to raise the press, but the power cord is cut. With no power, the press itself won't move. I'm certain that this was done intentionally. This must be the work of the culprit. In that case, we won't be able to check the body. In addition to the control buttons, there's an emergency stop button. This pr the press would have stopped instantly if we used this. Well, if the culprit were playing this murder, they'd have no use for it. What concerns me more is the safety function. That's right, this hydraulic press should have had a safety function. If the infrared sensor detects a living thing, the press stops automatically. Well, it didn't stop when Kibo tried it before, but if the sensor detected a person, the safety should have stopped the press automatically. Stop automatically, huh? <clears throat> washing machine emulated the painting machine, it did that one. The toilet, the bathroom, we've been in there. All red. Talk to him, <coughs> I don't want to talk to you. Keep bugging me. I'll use my explosion magic. She's awfully stubborn. Is she that suspicious of everything now? Or is there a reason she won't talk to anyone? There's enough info in the Monokuma file. We don't know the cause or time of death. The culprit is probably Kokichi, but. I'm worried about the class trial. The X is almost completely still, standing in its storage space. If Kukichi is still alive, he could activate it with a remote. But that remote controls Kukichi has for the X souls. What is it exactly? Does he have that because he's the mastermind? I have to discover. The panel that controls the alarm system and the electric barrier. I don't see any reason to turn them back on, though. Alright, let's, uh, let's go to the corners, I guess. Uh, nothing. There's a red light over there. Is that anything? Nope. The washing machine and the painting machine. That's all we got left of it. Looks like a machine used to paint text looks most kind of like paint there. It looks the same as before, probably not related to this case. This looks like a car wash. I imagine it's for cleaning the exosols. This one has been used in a while. I don't see any clues. There's, def there's a sleeve sticking out of the press. It's definitely Kaido's coat sleeve. In that case, the victim must no. be. No, that hasn't been determined yet. I need to investigate further. Looks like the left sleeve is sticking out of the hydraulic press. Only the sleeve is sticking out, and no part of the victim's body is visible. Were they crushed completely so that only the sleeve remains? Hmm? What's this? The sleeve has a single, small hole in it. A hole in the sleeve? What could this be? Kaito's code has been added to the truth bullet section of your monopad. I suppose that's about all the information I can deduce from the hydraulic press. Can't check the body, so I don't have any clues to work with. I'll have to find more clues elsewhere. That's about all I can investigate here in the hangar. There's still questions. The truth is still far out of reach. 
I still can't deduce who the victim is. I need more clues. I should investigate other areas. I should start with the areas around the hangar. Right, well, we, there we go. It's always that stupid little thing. I already checked that. But I need to check it a second time. Alright. <clears throat> the alarm system is off. It must be affected by the electro bomb. All right. I should investigate this place thoroughly. There must be some clues around here. I think I'm starting to feel a little better now. I'm sorry to worry you, Shuichi. Uh, okay. uh, I was a bit worried. I'm glad you're feeling better. There's something I needed to ask Kibo. Hey, hey Kibo, before we went in the hangar this morning, you said... So I went to the hangar last night and tried to talk to him. I tried to talk to him on your own? I'm sorry, I thought it would be preferable for him to release Kaito peacefully. How did it go? It went about as well as I expected. There was no response at all. I did witness a few things. You said that you witnessed a few things. What exactly did you see? Ah, uh, yes. Since we were in a hurry, I only told you about the exosol returning to the hangar. Yes, you said the exosols could pass through the alarm system and barrier to the hangar. Yes. I never imagined something like this would happen, so I didn't mention it before. But before I saw the exosol, I saw someone heading towards the hangar. Huh? You saw someone? Um. I saw Himiko. I was in my lab, trying to think of what I should write to convince Kokichi. That's when I saw her walking toward the hangar, clutching something in her hands. I think it was a black bag. A black bag? I... At the time, I assumed she was going there to examine things replete with Kokichi. And since she came back later, I didn't think much of it. But, but after seeing her reaction this morning, I started to get a little suspicious. What? What did you see? Why? She was acting like she had something to hide. It's not that I want to suspect You're her. Right. True, it's suspicious. Hey. You said you saw her come back as well. Was she holding the bag at that time? Well. Now that I think about it, she didn't. So, she had it coming in, but not leaving. It has to be. That black bag Kimiko was carrying was... Um. By the way, this is a little off topic, Shuichi, but... Huh? Huh? What is it? As I thought. The reason I wasn't feeling well may have been due to the electro bomb. But, but it was because of the electromagnetic particles, not because I'm a robot. So my experience was akin to an allergic reaction, such as hay fever. So it could have affected a human the same way. Being a robot had nothing to do with it. Uh, okay. <laughs> Alright, that must be it. So, that thing Himiko said was bothering him. He really is a bit too sensitive. Kibo's account has been added to the truth boat section of your monopad. control panel that controls the electric barrier protecting the hangar. We hit it with an electrohammer, so it isn't operational now. That's true. That's right. What are these marks here? Looks as if it's been struck by something sharp. What could these be? Hmm. Uh, wait, how are they even able to damage this in the first place? Getting near the control panel should cause the alarm to go off. You have to turn off the alarm before you even get close. So how did the person who did this get near the control panel? Hangar's front shutter is connected to the truth build section of your monopad. Um, somebody got in an exosol. Um, climbed over here. The exosols went through the barrier. And they managed to do shit like that. Alright. This is the bathroom window. This is the hangar's only window, and it's not possible to fit through. I knew it. That means the only way to get into this hangar is through the shutter. Hmm. 
The Exosuls isn't showing any signs of moving. If Peach is alive, he can use his remote control to move them as he pleases. But that remote control Kokichi has for the Exosuls, what is it exactly? Does he have that because he's the mastermind? Showing any signs of moving, Peach is alive, Exosuls, mastermind. It's all the same. Nothing new. Apparently. Oh, I can just walk right through. That's a new one. Come on. There's an electro hammer here, but why? And it's out of power. It must have been used. But used for what? But be careful. The electro hammer runs out of battery pretty quickly. So if you use it against the Nexus Elf, it'll run out of juice with just one shot. Got it? If I remember correctly. The electric hammer's power is expended, it requires 24 hours to recharge. We know that for certain. You use the electric hammer to add to the truth book section of your monopad. That would be Maki's hammer. I remember the sight I saw yesterday. The Exosol is protecting Monokuma for some reason. Kokichi said he was the mastermind, the Exosol should have been around him. So why are they protecting Monokuma? And four of them too. Hmm. I suppose I was so caught up thinking about Kukichi, I ignored Monokuma. <laughs> Pay attention, listen up, take heed I say. Oh. Monokuma? And it's just, I noticed that you came this way last night, Shuichi. Huh? huh? <laughs> you were acting all sneaky, weren't you? Like a teenage boy trying to creep into the adult movie section of the video store. But you didn't need to sneak around, because the Exosols wouldn't have attacked you. Hey. What are you saying? We didn't have to sneak... Because everyone's coming to rent adult movies, so in a way everyone's going there is the same. Wait. No, not that! I meant about the Exosols not attacking us. Oh. At the time, the Exosols were on autopilot and directed to only observe me. Hey, uh... Their movements are more limited now that the Monocubs aren't around to pilot them. Huh? Autopilot? You mean the remote control that Kokichi has? Well... Yeah, that's pretty much it. So, the Exosols are being controlled by Kokichi's remote control. But they were focusing on Monokuma? Hey! Why are you telling me all of this? This puts the person controlling you at a disadvantage. Hey, um... But we're not talking about that. We're talking about this. Even if it puts someone at a disadvantage, the class trial must always be fair. Hmm. The person who shared that info with me didn't seem interested in sharing it with you guys. Hey. So you share it instead. That way, it'll be fair to all the participants. So, if someone else besides me knows this, why wouldn't they share this information? Okay, okay that's all I can tell you. Yeah. By the yeah. way, renting movies is so old school, it's more thrilling to illegally download them. It's like trying not to get caught by a big game hunter while holding your breath during sex. I just said that. This information about the Exosols could be a clue to solving this case. I should remember this. Exosols protecting Monokuma has been added to the truth about the section of your monopad. Why would there be an electro hammer here? It's out of power, it must have been used. But used for what? Be careful, the extra puts it very quickly, one shot. Mm. Expended 24 hours to recharge, we know that for certain. That's how I saw yesterday. So I repeat. Hmm. That's actually a big one. That could also potentially explain why. Maki didn't risk it through the inside. I should check around the hangar now. I did. Honor for communicating with us. Perhaps I'll never get used to these after all. Okay. I don't see nothing.
But yeah, Maki was saying she didn't have a hammer. She didn't like using a weapon she was unfamiliar with. That's some logic to it, but not really for fighting a Nexus all. Hang the shredder. There's a security alarm here. You have to use the alarm remote to disable it to go near the shutter. If you come near the shutter without the remote, a loud alarm would go off around the entire academy. We had to use an electric bomb to disable the sensor and the alarm. That's how we got into the hangar. <laughs> it's not exactly a bomb though, even if it's called an electric bomb. It jams electronic signals by scattering particles that interfere with electromagnetic waves. For two hours, any and all electronic devices within 50 yards will be completely disabled. It's perfect for any secret activities, too, since it doesn't leave any debris behind. This invention is extraordinary, but I only have three of them. So I need to use them carefully. You guys will have to settle for the electric hammers. Now that I think about it, there were three electro bombs total. One was stolen by Maki, but what are the other two? The electro bomb has been added to the truth bullet section of your monopad. That should be it. That's about all I was concerned about the hangar. I still don't have enough clues. There have to be more. The other places that might yield some, cu okay. some clues are Maki's lab and my lab. The crossbow in the bathroom, the bottle of poison. I need to investigate those leads. Right. I should also inspect the three exosols that were protecting Monokuma. Why were they protecting him in the first place? That might be related to the case as well. Figured that one out already though. Well. Let's go check it out then, I guess. Back, of course. What exactly did I witness here? I know for certain that the Exosols are being controlled by Kukichi's remote control, but why were they focusing on Monokuma? Check if it was here. I'll just leave that one out when I examine the hammer. Let's double check the hammer. Just let's get through the same. Oh, there'd be a electric hammer here. It's powers me use, but use for what? So, I saw yesterday. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, yeah, okay. Same old, same old. Alright. Okay, so back out here. I need to examine Maki's lab and my lab. Maki's. They're both central area. Um, hers is third floor, I think. Let's check hers out first, I guess. Okay, uh, here's gymnasium, all that stuff. It's, um, hers is after the main, I think. I think it's this one. Yeah, because we had the Ryoma one, and that's where hers popped up. I feel as though there are less weapons here than I remember. Alright everyone, everyone's here. I hope you're ready. Oh yeah, because he, he stole them all. Are those weapons? So you went to my lab yesterday to find weapons to use against Monokuma. Because Kaito had them. I feel as though there are less weapons here than I remember. Alright, everyone's here. I hope you're all ready. Are those weapons? So you went to my lab yesterday to find weapons using a Because Kaito had them. Oh, 
actively. Okay, but we just looked at that. I'm just saying a pistol. Look at all these guns. Even if they're, if they're all airsoft guns. It's a remarkable sight. Not really effective for an... whatever. As I suspected, there are two black bags here, identical to the one in the hangar. There are cases for the crossbows. The crossbows are inside, but disassembled. No. Looks as if they don't even fit in the case unless they're disassembled. But there are two. And I was here with Kaito before. And there were three of them. And I'm sure that Kaito didn't have a crossbow with him. That's true. In that case, the crossbow in the hangar must have come from here. Which means someone must have brought it to the hangar from here. But it's fairly difficult to put together the crossbow. I don't believe you'd be able to do it unless Maki taught you. No. I'll think more about that later. For now, I need to investigate. Crossbow's been updated in the truthbow section of your monopad. Hmm. Well, you still could figure out how things work without actually doing them, but knowing to come here and getting a get a crossbow was another thing altogether. And then it's back to our lab for the poison. Uh, which is uh, after this one. I always go to the computer room first. I don't know why. Hmm. Yeah, the bit about Himiko coming, bringing that along, that's very, very suspicious. I'm not quite sure what to make of that. This is Rantaro's thing. Oh, no, there it is. That's mine. Doesn't have anything to do with the case. Mid time. That's a very odd door. It's very different. I thought the poison in the hangar. I need to confirm that it came from here. several bottles of poison lined up here. I haven't seen any po poison outside of this lab, so the small bottle of poison I found must have come from oh. here. Hmm? There's a little less liquid inside this bottle than the others. This, the label says strike nine poison. Poison takes some time to spread, but even a small amount of it hmm. can be lethal. Although it requires time to circulate, even a small amount in the body will result in certain death. I can't imagine that there's a smaller amount in this bottle for no reason. This must be a clue. Poison has been added to the truth both section of your monopad. There are a bunch of bottles on top of the desk. Did someone take them out? These bottles say antidote. Antidotes, huh? I didn't know these were here. According to the labels, each bottle is only one dose. And each one only works on a specific poison. Well. well, I suppose that makes sense. There are plenty of different kinds of poison, so they must be true for antidotes. Hmm. Strike 9 poison and antidotes. That is disconcerting. None of these antidotes are for the strike 9 poison. They're all for different poisons. What does that mean? Alright, All right, I have investigated this room thoroughly. I didn't find any evidence to suggest Kaito was dead. On the contrary, there's plenty of evidence to suggest Kokichi isn't dead. Monokuma is still moving around, and the killing game hasn't ended. And Kaito's clothes are in the hydraulic press, which means the victim must be... No. No, it's too soon to be thinking like that. If I investigate a little more, I'll find something. There's still time. I should head back to the hangar. Perhaps I missed something. I should check again. Case files lined up for me to read. There's nothing off about them. They don't seem to be related. Alright. Save. Alright, let's get out of here. Back to the hangar. Uh, 
All right. So, my one of my initial theories was that Kaito was poisoned. I'm making it think it was Maki, but it was being somebody else. Which is still potentially possible with the Strike 9 poison thingy. Oops. Why did I do that? Hmm. And so Kaito was looking through poison items, or Maki, or Himiko, or somebody. Maki should have. She's an ultimate assassin. Poison is an instrument that they can use. She might have known of it. I was looking for a cure for it, potentially. It's just odd. Kaito may have been doing it himself. But. So there's Smoogie, Maki, Himiko are the only free agents. There's Kokichi, but um, he's an unknown, really. Because we couldn't have done it, we literally stayed home all day. And whatnot, and Kaito could always be trickery, but he was in that room, and what are we doing, what are we doing? So, Tsumugi, Himiko, Maki. Pretty sure it's not Maki, she doesn't... Oh yeah, I'm looking at something in here, do I go in here? Kibo. Right, right. How did I Kibo? Oh, Shuichi, can you come with what me? Happened? Something wrong? Um, Found something strange in the bathroom. Please hurry. He showed up quickly and ran into the bathroom. Hmm. What are you talking about, Kibo? Oh, I don't know. Give me a moment, actually. Maki. Why is it so easy for you to believe Kaito is dead? She might have killed him? Maybe she gave him poison and he suicided? That was hey. in there. Kibo, what are you looking yes. at? Take a look at this. Huh? These are Kokichi's clothes? Soaked and wrinkled, but there's no doubt these are Kokichi's. But... Where did you find this? I didn't see it when I was investigating in the bathroom. And why are they soaked? Well... well, the toilet's in clogged, so I reached my hand down the drain. And pulled out these clothes. It looks like they couldn't be flushed all the way. Couldn't be flushed all the way. Why were these clothes in the toilet in the first place? Yeah. Yes, it was very brave of me. And thanks to that, I managed to find an important clue. <laughs> now, should you please investigate as much as you want? Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Um, clogging the toilet, huh? But this isn't the time to hesitate. Kukichi's clothes found in the bathroom. If they were found in the toilet, someone must have tried to flush them. But who would do that? What's the matter? Something the matter? Please investigate. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. The ultimate detective can't stop here. This has to be an important clue. All right. All right. I made up my mind. Grab Kukichi's silk clothes and spread them open. Hmm. Huh? There's a small hole in the back. And another small hole on the sleeve. It's about the same size as the one on Kaito's sleeve. There are traces of blood, too, around the holes, too. What does this mean? It could mean that he was attacked. In that case... No. There's a chance Kukichi was the one crushed in the hydraulic press. Thank you. Uh, Kibo, thank you. This is a very important clue. Well. Well, I'm happy I was able to help, but I must decline shaking that hand of yours. No. Uh, your hands aren't clean either, though. Kokichi's clothes have been added to the truthful section of your mod pad. But 
If Bukichi was the one crushed by the hydraulic press, where did Kaito go? Why not show himself? And why is this game still going, even though the mastermind is dead? Um... Um, if this is awkward, Shuichi, I can leave and give you some privacy. Huh? You're concerned about that? Kipo and I washed our hands in the sink. And left the bathroom. Now that we're out of the bathroom, we can get a lot more thinking uh, done. Okay. Alright. Oh, there it is. Maki, why so easy for you to believe Kaito is dead? What? You and Kibo both look more refreshed now. Right. Refreshing each other in the boys' bathroom. Even now, you can't help yourselves, huh? That's true. This is all Himiko's imagination, but I don't even want to touch that right now. Alrighty. Hey, it's almost time for the class trial to start, right? Was no one able to find Kukichi? Uh, um, I wonder. I haven't heard from anyone. I, I wonder where he went off to. Did he disappear? He can't still be in the hangar. Or under there. One spot in the hangar he could be. Shuichi, do you think the one who died was Kukichi? Huh? huh? I mean, your face says you want to think that. It's plain to but see. I think that's just plain impossible. Kukichi's been manipulating us all from the start. I can't believe someone like that could be killed by Kaito. Huh? Ah, of course, I don't mean to compliment Kukichi or make fun of Kaito or anything. Okay. I know, you're, you're probably right. Smoogie has a good point. I still don't have enough clues to conclude that Kukichi died. But I'm certain that one of them must have. Kokichi's disappearance has been added to the truth bullet section of your monopad. Ding bong. <laughs> it's about that time. That's right. It's time for the class trial, where hope and despair meet head on. Hmm. Wrong button. Please proceed to the shrine of judgment in the courtyard. Trial grounds. Everyone needs to be there. Got it? Everyone. Anyone who's absent will be swiftly and permanently punished. <laughs> I wonder what kind of despair awaits you this time. Uh -huh. hmm. Everyone needs to be there. That means Kokichi or Kaito, whoever is alive, will be there. Then. At the trial, we'll know who the victim is. Oh, so we got manually run there. But yeah, this one. That one there is. If it's anything like these, you can fit inside of it. And they're just hiding in the exit cell. Or they're placed there and they're unable to move it and will be prominently killed. Alright. Um, actually, I don't think anybody's gonna show up, or if they do, it's gonna be completely disguised and they're not gonna say anything or something of that sort. That's my guess. This isn't everyone, right? Uh, um, Kaito and Kukichi aren't here. What's the point? I bet Kukichi is already there. <clears throat> you bastard. As the mastermind of the killing game, he'd be waiting for us to arrive. No. We don't know that yet. There's a still a chance Kaito is alive. Do you die? Cut it out. Do you want to die? Maki. Well. This is a battle between hope and despair. If I show any weakness like you are. And I know I'll lose to despair. Lose to despair. You don't know? 
Six of us will participate, and one of us will die after this class trial. Then only five will be left. Only five. Right. That's right, we're the only ones left. That's obvious. But we can't lose to despair. Even if we have no future, we need to win. That is the whole point of this class trial. I will defeat Kukichi, no matter what I have to sacrifice. No matter what she has to sacrifice? Are you sure about that, Maki? Is that what you call hope? I know that we can't lose to despair, but something is wrong. Something doesn't feel right. I wonder what Kaito would say at a time like this. What would he say to us? If it was Kaito... Shuichi, I understand you don't want to believe it, but Kaito's not here anymore. It'll be okay. I'm fine, I'll be on my guard the whole time. Right. I'm filled with the combined power of hope and magic right now. God and anime on my side. Um. Let's go. No matter what Kukichi's scheming, there's no way we can lose. After all, we're students of Hope Speak Academy. Yeah, it doesn't quite really mean much, but sure. You bastard. I'll defeat Kokichi, no matter what I have to sacrifice. We can't lose. Rumble, 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 rumble. Say a word to one another. Silent as a tomb, we stepped into those open doors. We had lost the will to live, knowing what we know about the outside world. But somehow, despite that despair, we had found a new reason to live. To win the battle between hope and despair. But now, what do we know? I just had a really weird, odd, stupid thought. Um, if we were supposed to be the Adam and Eves of the next, um, salvaged bit of humanity, we currently have, if Kaito is dead and Kukichi is alive. When you get him as the blackened, one of them's gonna die, right? Or they're both gonna be dead because of whatever reason. It doesn't matter quite who. One killed the other, or some such. If Kaito and Kichi are the blackened and the victim, or whatever, and they die, and we survive, and that's the end of the game, or whatever, we now have Kukichi, Kibo, Himiko, Maki, and Sumugi as the only surviving members of the human race. And Shuichi's the only one with a genetic code. Because Kibo, I don't think, has that function. So, that's a very weird thought. But now, what do we know? We don't know what hope means to us anymore. What is hope? A burden you bear? I don't quite want to think about it, but now I can't not think about it. As those thoughts pierced my mind, I suddenly stopped. I can't think about things like that anymore. True, I can't think about that anymore. The only thing I need to think about is survival. Alright. Nice. Ah, I'm glad I like this takes me back. After all, hope and despair are natural enemies. Yes, this is truly a magnificent theme. <laughs> Only esteemed works of fiction have themselves as magnificent as this. Why? Anyway, where's Kukichi? Why isn't he here? Maki was right. The person who should be here isn't. Well, I'll tell you once the trial starts. What? What's going on? What are you scheming now? Doesn't matter what Kukichi is scheming. 
This is the final battle between hope and despair. It all ends here. Kukichi can twist and violate the rules all he likes, but will never give up. Hope will never submit to defeat. No, for the love of... No rules have been violated. Not my watch, you know? Whatever. Hurry up and start. We'll end it with the class trial. We'll defeat the remnants of the spirit, no matter what. So, get ready. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Now let's get started. Mix equal parts life and death, add a dash of lies and truth, and bake it into fires of conflict. <laughs> and when it's golden brown and bubbling, you have yourself a truly decadent class trial. Alright, let's go. And once more, we face the class trial. Was the one who died Kaito or Kukichi? I can't say for certain, but I still believe Kaito wouldn't die so easily. I don't know why I believe that so strongly. Oh, not dead but missing. But I will fight to prove it. But rarely do we have all the people on the same page usually spread out. I will fight with everyone. to grasp the hope on the other side of this truth. I will fight. I will fight in this trial of truth and lies. Alright. Wanna save? Nah. Just saving for squares. Or something like that. Alright. Skills. What do we got? We got one more thing we can... Toss on high tension, fast attention will increase, a faster rate effective during argument. Uh, yeah. Safety first. Time penalty for breaking down race to the peace. Doesn't matter. Push the point back during blade lock. Yeah, increase the amount of time. Letter cubes that can be acquired at once effect during psych taxi. Just to peek. Hangman's gap at the entire screen will light up more frequently, in fact, during Hangman's gap. That's a potential one for a strike. The keyword in the first speaker's argument will be shown from the start, but during the debate scrums. St. Nico's, and it's all comes if those direct fields on, but during mass tank debates. Fields V points, but non stop mass tank debates. Mm. We can't do those ones. Uh, upshift, downshift. Extraordinary focus, increase the maximum focus a little. Uh, let's go with um where was it? Just a peek. Scrum clear mind. Oh, there is. And reveals V points, there it is right there. Um damn skill. Uh, Six points. Oh, I've got things bought, but I don't have them equipped. Do 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 do. I'm so sure you're having whatever. Mind's eye. What's that on there? I think that's all the points I've got. Uh, yeah, that would be everything. Okay. Use the handbook. Let's see what we got. Not a lot this round. Uh, Power 5, the victim's body was discovered in the hangar where the Exile is stored. The victim was crushed by a hydraulic press. For this reason, the remains cannot be identified. Two Exiles at the scene of the crime. One was in storage with its cockpit closed. The other was in the middle of the hangar with its hatch open and its cockpit exposed. There is enough space in the cockpit for one person. There is an electronic lock on the hatch that only the monocles can open. Blessing that smeared through the hangar's bathroom with a hydraulic press as the zone was dragged. Hydraulic press controls are a short distance away from the device itself. There are two buttons labeled up and down and also features a safety function. The body was crushed by a hydraulic press and is unidentifiable. The hydraulic press safety function causes it to stop when it's infrared sensor detects a living thing. A small puddle of blood in the middle of the hangar's bathroom. Smaller blood sensor found leading to the door out of the bathroom. Found on the floor of the hangar's bathroom, the tips of all three arrows are wet with blood. The disassembled crossbow from the Ultimate Assassin's Research Lab. It was stored in a large black case. It was complicated to assemble and would be difficult for anyone who wasn't taught how. Found in this corner of the bathroom and labeled as stained with blood, so the only visible word is poison. 
determined to have come from the ultimate detective research lab. The case had a disassembled crossbow on it. The crossbow does not fit in the case unless it is disassembled. A window roughly 8 inches wide, though it is too small for a person, an object could fit through it. When the body was discovered, only the left sleeve was sticking out from the hydraulic press. A single small hole can be seen where the sleeve is sticking out. The night before the body was discovered, Himiko was seen coming to the hangar and coming back before the exiles returned. She had a black bag with her on the way there, but she didn't have it when she came back. It is protected by an electric barrier, and if someone approaches it, an alarm will sound towards the academy. Alarm can be disabled with the alarm remote. Control panel for the electronic barrier is next to the shutter. It has mark on it as though it was struck by something sharp. Found on the ground near the three exiles in the cyber courtyard, electronics can be disabled can disable any electronic device that they are used on, however they run out of power very quickly and a single use on an ex of it. And a single use on an exosol will completely drain the electron hammer. After being drained, they require 24 hours of charging to be able usable again. The day before the body was discovered, the exosols found in Bonakuma in the courtyard were given commands to observe his movements via the remote control cookies he had. When you use disguised particles, I'm sure electromagnetic waves rendering electronic communication and sensors unusable lasts for about two hours and covers an area of about 50 yards. Each can only be used once. Of the three that were made, the Koichi, Kokichi had two and Maki had one. There are many poisons lined up on the shelves in the Ultimate Detects Research Lab. Out of all of them, only the Strike 9 poison model had less poison in it. It takes some time for Strike 9 to fully take effect, but it is 100% fatal even if a small amount enters the body. Found stuffed in the toilet in the hangar's bathroom, small holes were found in the back and on the sleeve, both holes and traces of blood around them. No one had seen Kokichi during this entire investigation, or up until the start of the class trial. Um, it's looking relatively straightforward. Someone smuggled a crossbow in the bag to Kokichi, Kokichi's fight. Not Kokichi, Kaito. Explanation of the class trial. During the trial, you'll present your arguments for who the culprit is and vote for who done it. Vote correctly, and only the blackened will be punished. But I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and that person will graduate. Graduation is meaningless here. We already know that. We don't need your rules anymore. We'll find our own reasons to live. And we'll do whatever it takes to survive. Wow! An actual talking robot! I've never seen one of those before. Seriously? What happened to Kokichi? Why isn't he here? Aw, don't make that face, killer! This case has some unique circumstances. Unique circumstances? Because for this murder, the victim's identity is completely unknown. Given these circumstances, I decided to start off this class trial while the victim is still anonymous. After all, it'd be a shame if I let such a rare opportunity go to waste. Is that possible? I thought everyone had to participate in the class trial. Don't worry, the person who's still alive is waiting behind the scenes for their cue. It's all part of the overall production. Anyway, let's get this trial <sighs> moving! I guess we have no choice but to start the trial under these conditions. What's there to even talk about? The Blacken is the mastermind, Kokichi. Yeah, that's the only thing I can think of, too. It's too soon to decide anything for certain. We don't even know if Kaito was the victim. How long are you going to say that? The victim is Kaito. End of discussion. But we need to be absolutely sure if we don't positively identify the victim. The other person will never show themselves, right? Before we can identify a suspect, we need to determine who the victim is. Why are we even talking about something so obvious? What a pain. Everyone thinks that Kaito was the victim, but I have my doubts. There's a chance Kaito is still alive. If we keep discussing the case, I'm sure we'll see the truth. Him whenever he wanted. And the hydraulic. 
like Press had his clothes inside. Tokichi can't be the victim because there's no evidence for it. So the victim must be Kaito. And the culprit must be Kokichi! You lost a really good guy today. Kazing! If only mages could cast revised spells. There's no evidence that allows us to confirm the victim or the survivor. It's too early to declare who the victim is. Um, I just realized something. Um, Kaito's clothes were in the press. Kokichi's clothes were in the toilet. So, either Kokichi stripped naked and shoved Kaito in the press, or Kaito tossed his coat in the press and stripped Kokichi. Either way is a very odd way of going about it. Why would they need to do that? The victim has to be Kaito. Kaito was taken prisoner by Kokichi, so he could have killed him whenever he wanted. And the hydraulic press had his clothes inside. Kokichi can't be the victim because there's no evidence for it. That's wrong! Yeah, his clothes were in the toilet. There's no reason for him to do I that. I have evidence that points to Kokichi being the victim. I found this in the hangar. Oh, you didn't find it. Yeah. Is that Kokichi's coat? Don't take credit, Lee. Yes. It's not yours. Right here, there are blood stains on the sleeve. That would indicate that Kokichi suffered an external injury, correct? Kokichi was injured? The fact that these were flushed down the toilet implies that they are evidence of crime. What about it? Kaito's clothes were in the hydraulic press. As long as we have that evidence, there's no doubt that Kaito was the one murdered. Yeah, that's right. It's one of those irrefutable evidence things. We're identifying a body based off nothing but a sleeve. At first time she found the body in the hangar, Maki's insisted that it's Kaito's. But why is that? I thought we had an understanding. I thought she'd want to believe Kaito was still alive. Either way, it seems Maki is hung up on Kaito's clothes. In that case, I need to demonstrate the flaw in relying on that evidence. If I do that, I think she'll realize there's a chance that Kaito is alive. Actually, there's something bothering me about the clothes found in the hydraulic press. Mm -hmm. What about them? There's something peculiar about those clothes. There's something... The sleeve of the jacket. That's it! There's only the sleeve sticking out of the hydraulic press. If Kaito had been crushed by the press, the sleeve shouldn't have been empty. There should have been an arm inside the sleeve as well. Oh, yeah. That's the, the stupid bullet wound in there. That so the fact that we found an empty sleeve should... Shall I kill that dodger? Yeah, he carries the coat on his shoulders. Huh? dumber than I thought if I have to go out of my way to explain it to you. If you can't even see that, then be quiet. Otherwise, you're just annoying me. Shoichi, you're a dipshit. I'm full of hydraulic press, I got his coat swipe down, but... The coat sleeve sticking out of the hydraulic press. It's rather telling. It couldn't have been anyone else. But Kaito, if you can't see that, then you weren't looking hard enough. I wasn't looking hard enough? What do you mean? <laughs> he always dressed himself in a rather odd manner. He never put his arms through his coat sleeves. So when the hydraulic press crushed him, all that stuck out was his coat sleeve. If you understand to be quiet already, otherwise you're getting in the way. Right. Maki's claim appears solid, but I know that's not. She's wrong. We can't conclude Kaito's dead. He always dressed evidence. himself in a rather odd manner. He never put his arms through his coat sleeves. I'll cut through your words. Yeah, that's 
kind of an obvious one. Especially for somebody who knows him so well. Yes, I should have. Kaito never put his arm through his sleeve. But that was just his right arm. He wore his left sleeve normally. Oh, yeah. And the left sleeve was the one we found outside the press. Knowing how Kaito wore his coat, that's awfully strange, isn't it? Oh, yeah, you got me there. Neither of his arms were through the sleeves. Huh? It's a possibility. In the end, your reasoning is full of holes. Stop getting in my way. I have to defeat Kokichi. Maki, what's really going on? Seems you've made up your mind that Kaito is definitely dead. But why would you do that? It's like Maki said, though. Kaito's gotta be the victim. Because if Kokichi, the mastermind, was dead, the killing game would be over. Yeah, that's true. Monokuma, hurry up and bring Kokichi here. We already know who the victim is. Huh? Already? You sure it's not too soon? We need the suspect present, now that he's the subject of our discussion. Gotcha. I guess I'll bring him out now. Hey, Mr. Suspect! That's your kill! Called it. I called it. I called it. I called it. An exosol? What? Why is an exosol here? <laughs> Whoops. My bad. Seems like I gave you guys a scare, huh? What is this? Is that Kaito's voice? Kaito? There was a lot going on, so I just hid in an exosol and kind of dozed off. That's why I'm so late. Anyway, what's going on, guys? Oh, hold on. Then the one that died wasn't Kaito. Stupid! That was just a lie! <laughs> you guys thought I died? <laughs> I would never! No way! Kikichi? I'm gonna live. Till I die, I'm gonna laugh instead of cry. Wow, that's old. How old are you? <laughs> I thought as much. Your appearance right now is fit for a lowly asshole like you. <laughs> You're making me blush. You're getting so angry over me. Is that really you, Kokichi? That's right, Cracker Jack. Seriously, how old are you? <laughs> then why are you hiding in there? Show yourself. Oh, this is more for self-defense. Little Miss Cranky Pants would kill me if I showed myself. <laughs> I understand how you guys must feel. You can't believe it because I'm like this, right? <laughs> That's what I thought. In that case, I brought evidence. Evidence? Ta-da! The video camera! It was in the warehouse, but I brought it to the hangar, just in case. Man, that was a smart move. Thanks to this, I filmed it so everyone could see it clearly. The moment the victim died. Well, what did you say? Alrighty then! Let's watch this shocking moment. Hey, Monokuma! Can you connect the video camera to the monitor? Roger that! Monokuma grabbed the camera from the exosol, hooked it up to the courtroom's monitor, and played the tape for us. <laughs> the tape. That was definitely Kaito.
By the way, I'd like to add that this footage has not been doctored in any way. This video camera only has the basic functions. Just the play, record, and pause buttons so you can't edit after filming. And of course, I didn't upload it to a computer to edit it either. Right, Monokuma? Oh, you can talk. Your answer is necessary for a fair discussion. I see. If it's necessary for a fair discussion, then I will answer. No trace of that footage was found on any of the computers inside That's the That's a different statement. That is a different statement. See, if it wasn't connected to any computer, then editing the footage would be impossible. Which means this footage is 100% real. If that's the case, then it would seem our suspicions can be lifted. The body we found inside the hangar, crushed in the hydraulic press, is definitely Kaito. The murder video has been recorded in the monopad. View it in the truth bullet menu. Was that... was that really him? Was Kaito killed? Kukichi had no reason to kill Kaito. He had just told us all that he was the mastermind, that the killing game was over. What would he gain by killing Kaito? <laughs> it looks like you finally believe that I'm the one in this exosol. Yes. With that, we can definitively say that the culprit is you. Huh? Why? You filmed the moment the victim died. Which means you were present at the scene. As the person who filmed this footage, you're the only one who could be the culprit. But if the culprit shot the video, why would they go out of their way to show it? Oh man, you got me! Yeah, I'm the culprit. What? Jeez, I totally dug my own grave. Here's the truth. I decided to participate in this trial in an exosol after I killed Kaito. Of course, it was mostly to make the victim unknown. To jazz up this trial. I took that footage for proof so I could reveal it after you guys get the correct answer. But... <laughs> I totally spaced out. I wasn't supposed to show it right away. So does that mean you admit to the crime? I dug my own grave again? Well, I don't think you guys will believe any of the excuses I make now. So, I give up. You're giving up? Does that mean it's been decided? Is it okay that this trial was so short? That's fine. We knew from the very start that Kokichi was the killer. But before we vote, I want to say something to Kokichi. He may be the mastermind. But I won't let you escape after you violated the rules. That would desecrate the killing game Junko and Oshima created, right? Your beloved Junko and Oshima. Junko? Whatever. It's voting time now. Let's go before Kokichi changes his... No, hold on a second. This isn't right. The culprit comes in, confesses to the crime, and the trial ends? That's not how this goes. That doesn't sound like the kind of game Kokichi or Monokuma or Junko would play. What if the mastermind got tired of it? The remnants of despair were like that. No, if they were tired of it, they wouldn't have put all that effort into the video. There would have been no need for this class trial in the first place. Something's not right. We need to get a better feel for the situation. It's either Kokichi or Kai. Kaito sort of was the only plan. option. He's trying to trap us. Trap us? Are you saying Kokichi isn't the culprit? Then are you suggesting one of us is the culprit? What? 
If it's not Kokichi, then the culprit must be one of us. One of us? That's not possible! No, I didn't say that. I was just saying it's dangerous to trust Kokichi. Oh, now you realize that. <laughs> Shuichi is so distrusting. But it's exactly like Shuichi said. I'm actually not the culprit. Seriously? What? But that contradicts what you said previously. You trust any word he says? Yeah, first, that was a lie. Sorry, I lied again. The real culprit of this case is super bad at hiding themselves, so I thought I could help. I pretended to be the culprit by using the footage! It made the game more interesting, too. Uh, are you serious? <laughs> what's the truth and what's a lie? I don't know anymore. It's fine, because Kokichi is the culprit. He killed Kaito. No matter how much he deceives us, it won't change our minds. The footage shows he did it. Kokichi has to be the only option. Kokichi, honestly, the only one it can't be, other than us. The only option? Is that really true? Are we just gonna leave it at that? Safety function. Oh, great. The There's no doubt there. that Kokichi is the culprit. We all saw that footage from earlier, right? I still got crushed to death. Not possible. <sighs> this is the one well, of the first things. Yeah, no. The safety function would make it impossible to kill Kaito with the press. The safety function. Yes, it was written on the safety precautions. The hydraulic press will automatically stop yep, if automatically the infrared stop. sensor detects a living organism. So the hydraulic press won't move at all if there's a living person under it? Which is why it couldn't have been used to kill Kaito. Which means it's more likely that Kaito was crushed after being killed by some other means. Yep, there you go. He's no longer alive, press doesn't recognize it, and crush. In that video, he was already dead by then. But you could disable the infrared sensor of the safety function with an electro bomb. No, I don't think Kokichi would use an electro bomb for that purpose. It would have taken down the hangar's alarm system and Exosol's remote control. It would have put Kokichi at a significant disadvantage. But you can't be too sure I wouldn't do that. I'm the type who would do anything for fun. Also, we don't have any evidence of a different murder method other than the hydraulic pr No, we do. I have a plausible theory for the murder. What? Yes, there is a clue that suggests the victim was killed before being fresh. I found it somewhere around the hydraulic press. Single small hole can be seen where the sleeve is sticking out. <sighs> so much of an allergy can be from this game. Oh, early. Wow. Okay. Let's go with the uh, three arrows, I guess. Was that proof Kaito was killed by some other means? His body would have been moved to the press. It's unfortunate that my allergy kept me from investigating more thoroughly. The three arrows in the bathroom. Perhaps the victim was killed there? Then there should have been evidence of the body being carried to the hydraulic press. Are you fucking kidding me? Was there any evidence? The blood stain? Really? Blood stain is smeared from the hangar's bathroom to the hydraulic press as though someone was being dragged. This is it! There was a swipe pattern blood stain in the hangar, suggesting a body was dragged. The blood stain oh, now we have a map. the bathroom all the way to the press. Oh! That was the restroom where Kaito was being held, wasn't it? Blood stains were also found inside the bathroom. 
That can't be coincidence. So Kaito was killed in the restroom, then dragged to the press and crushed? If the bloodstain even was Kaito's. What? We only guessed that Kaito was killed in the bathroom. Since his body was crushed, we'll never know if Kaito died some other way. We might not be able to examine the body, but we do have evidence that suggests the cause of death. There! The small hole on the sleeve of Kaito's coat is the key to his cause of death. the next day curse <sighs> himiko what's wrong why are you freaking out all of a sudden um i'm not freaking out i'm just saying it's impossible for the weapon to be that small <sighs> is everybody an idiot the last vestiges of humanity is a poor sorry state no it's not impossible i can show you the weapon that left that small hole in Kaito's sleeve it's the three arrows. I should just was just an arrow. Are you saying that stabbed him with it? Oh no! Fuck. If you show the arrows being shot in the explanation, this is it. I believe the weapon was the crossbow found in the bathroom. <laughs> Crossbow arrow would certainly leave a hole that small. They just, just why? Can we then conclude that Kaito was shot with that crossbow? If so, that crossbow just might be the actual murder weapon used to kill Kaito. I see. So surprising that a crossbow is the murder weapon. Seriously, Himiko, what's wrong? She probably needs to be. Anyway, about Kaido getting shot. If that was his cause of death, then I wonder who shot him with the crossbow. Well, I already know, but I won't tell you. He's just playing with us. Yep, just not figuring that out. Let's show him that playtime is over. Let's show him that the students of Hope's Peak Academy will never submit to despair. I think Kaito's kind of the only level-headed one here. <laughs> Maybe it's Moogie, but. Mystery, right, guys? Who else but you could have done it? The shot would need to be fired from inside the hangar to hit Kaito. We couldn't go in the hangar. The alarm system and electric barrier were in the way. If we couldn't go in the hangar, and Kokichi had been in there, then he must be the one. I see. So I'm the culprit. Kaito would have been in there, but the murder weapon was the crossbow. Knowing that, we should be able to visualize the murder. I wonder who shot Kaito with the crossbow. What a mystery, right guys? Who else but you could have done it? The shot would need to be fired. From inside the hangar to hit Kaito. That's wrong. No, there was a window there. We literally chatted to him through it. Even without going in the hangar, it was possible to land a shot with a crossbow. There was a window in the bathroom of the hangar. Maybe it wasn't possible to get in, but you could have shot through the window. And remember that Kaito was confined to the bathroom. So if they shot Kaito through the window, they could have killed him in the hangar. Which means the murder suspect list grows to six people, including me. <laughs> what did you say? But put plainly, that means it seems Shuichi wants to make one of us the culprit. Is that it? Is, Is that... that what a detective does? Huh? Do detectives always accuse people, even when they're friends? 
It seems like it. You suspected Kaito in the previous class trial too. You're always suspicious of your friends. It's literally the job description of a detective. W what's wrong, Maki? You seem like you're kind of on edge. Of course I am. When we said we would defeat the remnants of the spare, someone got in our way. No, you don't understand. I'm not trying to... It doesn't matter how much you get in my way. I will absolutely defeat Kokichi. I won't let despair escape. I won't let it win. Now, now. Let's stop this boring fight and continue on with the not-so-boring trial. So we all agree that the murder could be done by anyone and not just me, right? Yeah, yeah. That might be true, but I didn't know about the window. Neither did I. Really, what? Himiko? What's the matter? You've been weird since we mentioned small holes. What? Are you after my small hole too? See? Now that's definitely weird. Look at it this way. Just because the culprit could be anyone, not everyone is a suspect. We can pretty much narrow it down to anyone who knew about the crossbow. I never knew about any crossbow. In other words, I'm not suspicious. There's no way you can consider it. It does concern me that Himiko went to the hangar last night. Well, really? You went to the hangar, Himiko? Yes, she did. I definitely saw her. You, you were watching me? It's awfully suspicious that you went to the hangar last night. Okay, then the culprit is Himiko. <laughs> Wait! more suspicious than I am. <laughs> what? <laughs> that crossbow came from your research lab, right? You could have gotten that crossbow whenever you wanted. Anyone could have gone to her research lab, though. She's not the only suspect. I don't know about that. She's definitely the most suspicious. Even if you make that scary face at me, <laughs> I'm not because if you start panicking, then we'll know that you're the culprit. I said I'm not the culprit! I swear! Kokichi's the suspicious one! The monkey too! They're both the culprit! <laughs> Why am I a suspect? Anyone could have entered my research lab. Yeah, I'll admit that I'm suspicious. Okay, maybe I am the culprit. He's just fucking with everyone. I'm the culprit! Mass panic debate start. What do we got here? Hatch electronic lock large black case all to go to this. We should look at the inconsistencies in her testimony. There's a lie there somewhere. Why am I being her I was only replenishing my magic. Why am I being replenished? It's uh, Himiko's. This is just people randomly. I heard it. Hebo said you went there was a black bag. Black bag in the bathroom, blah blah blah. You said that you went to the hangar empty handed. But that's a lie, isn't it? What are you talking about? It's not a lie. But Kibo saw you. He said you were headed toward the hangar carrying a large black bag. Yes, Himiko was definitely carrying a large black bag. No, that was probably Tsumugi cosplaying as me. Cosplay pop. No, I can't cosplay as someone unless they're a fictional character. Kimiko, <laughs> this is the bag you were carrying, isn't it? That's the crossbow case. There's no mistake. That is the bag I saw Himiko carry. <laughs> this is. What? Hold on. 
Himiko went to the hangar with a crossbow? Yeah! Uh-oh. Well, it's decided then. <laughs> Wait! That's wrong! I just brought it there! I didn't shoot it! It's the truth! Please believe me! <laughs> You're right. I believe you. Himiko is totally telling the truth. Not you! If you believe me, it makes me look like I'm lying! <laughs> That is true. Can we really trust Himiko here? She was acting very suspiciously. How we go with the crossbow is difficult to assemble unless you're trained with it. It's not the culprit. Yeah, I totally agree. Uh, the sword large black case. It was complicated to assemble and would be difficult for anyone who wasn't taught how. True too. I didn't even use the crossbow. Mm -hmm. Another true statement. All right. Yeah, that was it. I didn't do anything else in that hangar. <laughs> Exacto mundo. Well, this all sounds so fishy. Yeah, but Kokichi won't shut up. Get off my head, Kokichi! <laughs> this kind of the crossbow, you'd have to be fairly good with it. Could Himiko have done this? That's the question. Totally agree. I only carried <laughs> nope, not that one. Yep, yep, that's true too. And I didn't even use the crossbow. Shit. <laughs> that one difficult on purpose, didn't they? Yep, 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 that's true too. I didn't even use the crossbow. There we go. I agree. Hey. Dodge, dodge. I don't think Himiko used the crossbow. More accurately, she couldn't use it. Couldn't use it? Why not? The crossbow inside this case was disassembled. Kaito and I learned how to assemble the crossbow for Maki, so we could have done it. But I don't believe someone without the proper training could have assembled it. Well, what if Maki taught Himiko how to assemble the crossbow? He didn't teach me that! Right, Maki? <laughs> What's wrong? Are you mad about the sword? <laughs> your morals if you're blaming Maki for your lie, Himiko. <laughs> I don't think you're allowed to say something like that. Yeah, not you, Kichi. You. Sorry, Maki. Please, can you tell them the truth? Just tell everybody the truth, you dipshits. Fine. Makes things a lot easier. I'm not going to lie. I didn't teach Himiko how to assemble the crossbow. She couldn't have used it. See? I told you. It's just like I said. Me needs to apologize right now. She changed back so fast. I think I might have whiplash <laughs> now. Then why did you bring the crossbow to the hangar, Himiko? I was asked to. Asked to? Perhaps the person who asked was Kaito. That's it. Was it Kaito? Huh? Kaito? Only Kaito or Kokichi would have asked for a crossbow to be brought to the hangar. Because Kaito knows how to assemble the crossbow, he certainly could have used it. Yep. Knowing that, I can't imagine that anyone else would have asked Himiko. I do not think she would bring it at Kokichi's request. Of course not. Why would I ever listen to Kokichi? Because <laughs> I know you like me. Nah, -uh. I hate you. But I like you. Shit. Hey, don't play with Himiko's heart. 
But to think that Kaito asked Himiko to do that. Maybe Kaito is trying to keep the promise we made yesterday. Don't you worry. I'll do something about all this. That's a promise. All you guys are working so hard, so I can't just sit back and relax. But why were you keeping that a secret, Himiko? Well, Kaito sort of asked me to keep it a secret. Then Kaito died, and I got scared. I thought it was gonna be next. You're the worst for trying to pin the blame on Maki just for that reason. Maki, teach this dumb monkey the true terror of human beings. Don't bully the person you like. <laughs> this is way beyond bullying a great school crush. Himiko, when exactly did Kaito ask you to do this? Um, I think it was around evening yesterday. I was so nervous about fighting Kokichi. I couldn't get to sleep. So I took a walk near the hangar, and that's when Kaito called out to me. I got startled and wet myself a little, and then he asked me to get him a crossbow. Um, that one part was a... Uh, you know what? Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. So if Kaito asked for a crossbow, does that mean he was going to kill Kokichi? No, he said it was to disable Kokichi. I wouldn't have helped him otherwise. I trusted Kaito and took a crossbow from Maki's lab. That's when I witnessed Himiko. But then, what did Kaito do after he had the crossbow? I don't know. I just handed him the crossbow, then went right back to the dorm. Presumably, <laughs> <laughs> well, the crossbow. Don't, don't do anything Kokichi, bad with it. Only to be disarmed of the crossbow. And then Kokichi returned fire and shot Kaito. That sequence of events seems logical. No, it happened a little differently. Both Kaito and Kokichi shot the crossbow. And there's proof of that. <sighs> Kaito's coat, you know what? What specifically are you asking me to... I don't think that's a proper justification for claiming that Kaito shot the crossbow. Kaito's clothes had an arrow hole, so it's more plausible to think that Kokichi shot him. Uh. This is the other way around. Kokichi's clothes. This is it! Remember that when we found Kokichi's clothes, there were holes in the back and sleeve. The same kind of hole that was found in Kaito's coat. Kokichi was shot by the crossbow too? Yep. And it was Kaito who shot him, right? Yep. Mm, I'm not sure. I don't remember anything like that. You don't remember whether or not you were shot? There is no doubt that they shot each other with the crossbow, but... It doesn't matter. Hmm? It doesn't matter what happened in between. In the end, Kokichi killed Kaito. Maki's been acting strangely. But why? Does she know something? If so, what does she know? Maybe Maki's right. It doesn't matter what happened in the middle. Are you fucking... But in the end, there's no mistake that Kokichi killed Kaito. Then, let's hurry up and vote. No, it's too soon. There are still mysteries. Who cares about that? We already know who the culprit is. You sure about that? Huh? What? Now he's joining in? <laughs> As the one running this trial, it bothers me when anyone says mysteries don't matter. It affects the overall entertainment value, so I encourage you to re- think about things after all there should be some mysteries that still matter for example is Kokichi really inside that exosol stuff like that what what are you saying we already finished that discussion a while ago <sighs> Kokichi's gotta still be alive since the killing game's still going 
voice is even coming from the Exosol and everything. He played Kaito's voice through there. But we heard it speak in Kaito's voice earlier, didn't we? Yeah, don't rely on that. After all, this Exosol has a voice changer. It what? Ha! Because of that, nobody realizes I'm pretending to be Kokichi. But no more! Sorry for the wait, guys! The luminary of the stars has arrived! This time for real! What? What's going on? I told you, I'm Kaito! I was just pretending to be Kokichi, is all. There's a bit of a situation going on, so I didn't really have a choice. Sorry about tricking you guys like that. My bad. Huh? So Kaito's in there after all? Don't be stupid. How many times are you going to be tricked by Thank him? Thank you. That's Kokichi pretending to be Kaito. Hey now, Maki Roll. Don't you believe me? Don't ever call me that. Whoa there, chill. You really think I'm Kokichi? I mean, I guess I understand. Sorry, I can't really get out of this thing right now. Why not? I can't move because of the injury I got from Kokichi. It's so bad I can't even stand. That's why I'm in this Exosol. Is that so? But if you guys don't believe me, then we can't move on. So, you're up, Shuichi. What? Me? Explain to everyone how I wasn't the one that died. You just blindly believe that he's who he says he is. Kaito is alive after all. No, maybe that's just what I want to believe. Is it really true? The dude in the Exosol has just placed suspicion by claiming to be different people. Which means we can't trust jack shit from him. So don't believe that he's who he says he is. Figure it out and then know who he is. What story does the evidence tell? Does the story end with Kaito or Kokichi being the victim? I need to give a well-reasoned answer to that question, and soon I can't look away from the truth. The victim in this case... Oh, you, what? Most of the evidence we have now shows that Kaito was the victim. Huh? What's the matter, Shuichi? Just gotta say it with confidence. Can't look away from the truth. I don't like this trial. I'm trying, I really am, but I can't think of anyone other than Kaito. Most of the evidence we have points to Kaito. Hey, what's the matter, Shuichi? Just hurry up and tell everyone why I'm not dead. Should be easy. No, you are dead. I won't. Because you're not Kaito. Kaito is already dead. Despair will never die! <laughs> good! Good! This is already more entertaining! Now, the Ultimate Academy is proud to present its very own more phenomenal trial ground! ground. Alright! Let's give it everything we've got! I think Kaito is definitely a victim. He may not be the only victim. The fact that Kokichi's clothes were found in the toilet is very, very, very weird. It means Kokichi had some reason to be stripped naked. Which means he's either in that exosol. Is he going to be, like, flying? Or what? It's Kaito. I suspect that Kaito is inside the Exosol. I got this. Unless he comes out of the Exosol, we can't confirm that. He said that he can't leave the Exosol because he's injured. Mucky. Anyone who knows about Kaito's injury can make that claim. Is it possible that Kokichi got crushed instead of Kaito? Mucky. Did you watch the footage? Kaito was the one who got crushed. But there was an arrow hole on Kokichi's shirt. I got this! Kaito's clothes had arrow holes too. I want to believe Kaito is still 
alive and defeated the mastermind, but Maki. the mastermind is still alive inside that Exosol. Why are you so opposed to Kaito being alive? I've got this because the evidence doesn't support the claim that Kaito is still alive. Counter. Oh yeah, there we go. But it's Kaito is dead. I don't want to believe it. In a way, I still can't. But the evidence, the evidence shows that Kaito must be the one who died. I hate it. I hate it so much. But it's the truth. I see. If that's the conclusion you've arrived at, Shuichi. Then there must be no mistake. Then the one here is. <laughs> Looks like I messed around too much. Sorry, that was just a little joke. What a sick joke! Sick that you fell for it. Asshole. True, and I can't forgive him. But we still need to stay calm, be rational, because we need to get to the truth of Kaito's death. Yeah! Just keep calm and carry on! <laughs> Why are you saying that? What part of that was calm? Not a one. Getting back on top of it. Why don't we examine the crossbow a little more closely? I think we need to get all the facts straight so we don't fall for any more lies. Oh, wow. Famous. With two different people. Sweet. I agree, but what do you think, Maki? Fine. Okay, let's discuss that then. Why are you acting like you're in charge of things? <laughs> so if we assume that Kaito and I shot each other with the crossbow, then the most efficient way to solve this is to set up a timeline of events. Hey, I said, why are you... Alrighty then, let the debate begin! <laughs> Three heroes, like my case, like mom used to lecture him with the poison. crossbow fire. What was even going on? As if you need to ask, you were there. The crossbow was in Kaito's possession first. He probably fired the first shot at Kokichi, too. Then Kokichi disarmed Kaito, took the crossbow, and returned fire. I didn't take the crossbow from Kaito, I secretly brought a different one. That's but not only possible. one crossbow was taken. The other two are still in my research lab. Still, only one arrow was fired. So, well, how could they both shoot each other? It wasn't just By one way, arrow. Shots hurt a lot. My wound is still aching something fierce. What? Is that just. Why was that just. Not? I feel like that goes against the information I had. the crossbow fired. What's even going on? As if you need to ask, you were there! The crossbow was in Kaito's possession first. He probably fired the first shot at Kokichi too! Then Kokichi disarmed Kaito, took the crossbow, and returned fire. I didn't take the crossbow from Kaito. I secretly brought a different one! But only one crossbow was taken. The other, the other two, two are still, still there. Yep. Still, only one Get it over with. <laughs> Wait, Miko. What do you mean, one arrow? Hmm? Well, I only gave Kaito one arrow, so. What? Are you positive? There's no way I got that wrong. Well then, that's strange, because... There were three arrows in the bathroom, remember? Three? I know I only gave him one! Kaito even told me to only bring him one. He said he wanted to avoid fighting. There were three arrows at the scene, but Himiko said that she only brought one. 
What is going on here? Maybe Kokichi had some hidden away? Why would Kokichi have two arrows when he didn't have a crossbow to fire them? But we know for certain that three arrows were recovered from the sea. And all three arrows had blood on them. And all together, their clothes had three perforations in them. So we know for certain that they shot three arrows at each other. Where did, where did those arrows come from? I don't think that Himiko is lying. There must be some angle to this we haven't considered yet. What is it? What could have happened? Think. Need to think. Is that a like taxi? Yay. I'm gonna bet Maki brought the extra ones. Wait. the next one. That's not really worth it. Ah, What's the next question we got here? Uh, I'm gonna bet it was Maka who brought the other ones. This movie doesn't seem to fit. All the arrows inside the hangar from the start. New. We were there and explored it, and they didn't have any. Thinking time. Yes, no question. Either. No, because we explored it first, and there were no arrows in there. Therefore, they had to have been brought in from an outside source. That one is most likely Maki, because, again, she's acting weird. I saw that billboard, but what was on it? it looked different. Oops. Mew's death? Who brought the two arrows? Thinking time. Third party. Good. Yeah, no. Oh, what a revelation. Party? So, someone besides Kokichi or Himiko? That's just a guess, though. There's no way a third party exists. If a third party did exist, why would they bring two arrows? Kaizo was the only one with a crossbow. I made sure I handed it to him. Kaito said he only needed one arrow. Clearly, he didn't want to fight. Yeah, that's right. So the other two arrows weren't for Kaito. They were for the third party to use themselves. So the third party didn't hand the arrows through the window. Instead, they went into the hangar and shot the crossbow themselves? Impossible. There was an alarm system and an electric barrier around the hangar. Yeah. That hangar should have been completely closed off, right? It was completely closed off? Can we confirm that? That's what it was. I feel like there might be another way, some way that we might have figured out yet. I'm overlooking something. Think, think. What method did the third party use to enter the hangar? Hangman's Gambit. Exosol. There we go. Complete. This is the first part. It. The Exosaw. The Exosaw could be used to enter the hangar. We 
couldn't get in because of the alarm system and the electric barrier. But that shouldn't have been a problem for any of the exosols, right? So if you wanted to enter the hangar, all you had to do was all find you had an exosol. I saw an exosol enter the hangar last night. So was this third party piloting it? By the way, I just want to confirm something with Monokuma. Would the alarm still go off if there was a person inside an exosol? Well, I wasn't trying to keep this secret. But since it's about the details of the hangar, <laughs> I guess I can tell you guys. It makes sense that the alarm system and electric barrier wouldn't react to an exosol. After all, the hangar is where the exosols are supposed to be stored. Yep. It'd be a hassle to disable the security every time an exosol comes and goes, you know? So even if someone is inside an exosol, the security system wouldn't catch them. Does it be a hassle to leave the exosol every time you have to put it away? <laughs> so it's like Shuichi said? A third party got in an exosol and entered the hangar? That would be Maki. Can just anyone pilot an exosol? Well, Kokichi? It's surprisingly easy. If you use both hands, both feet, and both nipples, you can do it. Nipples <laughs> too! Anyway. This third party commandeered an exosol and infiltrated the hangar. That same person must have brought the other two arrows with them. I told you that's impossible. Huh? There's no way you can get through security if you pilot an exosol. It's not possible. What? Not possible? Maki, what are you talking about? What are you thinking? What do you know? Why are you trying to hide it? Why? Why won't you tell me? Uh, let's have to debate. Start. Uh, the has the current wrong. Dr. Bomb here, current shutter. If someone was piloting the exosol, they could have used it to enter the room. That's not possible. Yeah. Is operating the exosol? Really that difficult? Nope, you just gotta use your nipples, huh? Do you even know how to get inside an exosol? Outside the hangar, there were four exosols. And they were all moving, too. I was controlling them remotely. Electro hammers weren't an option. Yesterday, all the hammers were still recharging. There's no way to stop an exosol. That would have been the one. So getting inside one would have been impossible. You're right, it's impossible. It's impossible. Not yeah, quite. It's not impossible. There's an, there is one way to stop next, so I have to show them. Someone was piloting the exosol. They could have used it to enter the game. That's not possible. Is operating the <laughs> Really that difficult? Do you even know how to get the exosol? Outside the hangar, there were four exosols. And they were all moving, too. I was controlling them remotely. The electro hammers weren't an option. Yes, they were. Yesterday, all the hammers were no. charging. That's wrong! Nope, it was Maki's. The only one that was an exception. Oh, shit! Not all of the electro hammers were being charged. And my internet's up. Okay. And my internet started acting up. This is why I got the time limit. I was hoping I could get to it, the intermission before it started acting up. That'll be it for today, guys. Not all the electric hammers were being charged. Um, yeah, that's the uh, stream is dying. Uh, that'll be it for today. See you guys later. Man, that sucks. But that's why I got the time limit.